Hello and thank you for watching PopFlow Studio's buoy migration made easier. In these short videos, we'll show you PopFlow's drag and drop designer with standard activities, how you can change development to configuration, simplify third-party data integrations, and design, test, and deploy easier. Let's start with the first one, drag and drop designer with standard activities. Here you see PopFlow Studio, and each one of these activities have hundreds of lines of code built in, giving the ability to do things like desktop notifications, setting variables, posting data to multiple applications, API requests, running JavaScript. All of these activities have hundreds of lines of code, including Pop Search and Select, which gives you the ability to pull third party data and display it for the agent to view and make decisions. Let's get into an example of how PopFlow works. Now originally, we were gonna speed this process up, but then we thought about showing it to you in real time so that you can see how easy it is using PopFlow. Here you can see we're using the get data activity and we're reaching out for contact information using the phone number of the customer calling in. We'll go ahead and use the source of Annie and remember to save it in contacts info. Now on a match, what do we want to do? Well, we're going to create a workspace. Here we come in. We say we want to create an incident. Then we choose CID or customer ID. And we go back to the data that we stored in our get data. And now we associate this incident to the customer. And just like that, with two activities and a few fields, we've created our screen pop. We all remember screen pops the old ways. Gathering requirements, having meetings, getting IT involved. What used to take months and look like this, now takes minutes and looks like this. Using the PopFlow Designer with standard activities will help lower your effort, do things in less time, and help you save in your move to buoy. We'll see you on the next video where we discuss changing development to configuration. Thanks for watching.